Good morning, 5B. Uh, this is Mr. Wong. Okay, um, on Wednesday, we go through, we went through question 1 to question 6 of your using electricity uh, topical worksheet, question 1 to 6. Uh, we kind of went over time, so we stopped at question 6. So, uh, if we have the time, um, today I will be uploading this video and this lesson on uh, SRS and on YouTube. So, if you have the time, you can watch the remaining answers uh the question the answers to the remaining question question seven to question eleven uh, on Wednesday or if you want to you can watch it on Thursday instead. Okay it's up to you. Alright. Um so uh I just want to make sure that we go through all the MCQs and if I can all the open ended before we come back to school on the coming Monday. Alright. So let's get started. Let's continue on with question seven. Um so First thing, understand the diagram, understand the question first. So what they're asking you is for the advantage means uh, what is good about uh, having this circuit like this. So you realize something very interesting here is also that um, there are three um, batteries here and you realize they are all connected in parallel. Right? So you realize that the batteries are all connected in parallel. So how do I know they are connected in parallel? You see that there are many different pathways for the electricity electric current to flow through and you realize that um, the negative is the negative is connect the negative ends are all on the same side while the positive ends are all on the same side as well. So this is the positive end, they're all on the same side. And then there are negative the negative end which is here is all on the same side as well. Okay. So um you have not studied or we are not going to study about batteries in parallel but um it doesn't matter. Uh, what matters is that you know that it's still a closed circuit and um, adding batteries in parallel is definitely not the same as adding batteries in series. Okay, So um, by adding batteries in parallel, right, uh, you will not increase the brightness of the bulb. Okay? So I'm going to put it in capital letter. Will not increase the brightness of the bulb. Okay, only if you connect the batteries in series and you increase the number of batteries in series, then the brightness will increase. But if you connect the batteries in parallel, um, there will be no increase in the brightness of the bulb. Okay, so let's look at the option. What is the advantage? We're looking out for the advantage. So it says here that um, the bulb is able to achieve a high intensity of brightness. The answer is no. Connecting batteries in parallel do not increase the intensity of the brightness. Only if you connect the batteries in series, then the more batteries you use, the brighter the bulb will be. The bulb will continue to light up even if one battery is not working. So let's say if this battery is not working. Okay, if this battery is not working, yes, the, bat the electric current can still flow through this. Okay, let's highlight so you can see better. Okay, so let's say the first battery is not working. You realize the electric current can still flow like this. Okay, let me do it again. It can flow like this. Okay, electric current can also flow like this. Okay, go back to the bulb. So you realize that even if one battery is not working, um the electric uh the bulb can still light up. So correct. Number two is correct. Let's take let's look at three. The bulb will not fuse, the bulb will never fuse if the switch is kept closed for a long time. Um the bulb will only fuse if um there is too much electric current flowing through. But in this case you realize that the batteries are connected in parallel the electric current stays the same so it will never fuse okay uh it will never fuse however in this question you realize that um there is no switch okay so in this question i don't know where's the switch they're talking about so this is a question mark i don't know so i take it as wrong okay so we, this is true um if you okay i mean the statement is true like just that the switch is missing in this question. So let's say the switch is there and the switch is closed. Um, if you connect the batteries in parallel, basically the electric current running through the bulb is still the same. Whether is it one battery, two battery, or three battery, this is not those in series. So yep, the bulb will not fuse because it's the same electric current running through it. However, um, there's no switch in this question, so I don't know what they're talking about. So wrong. Okay. Less energy is uh needed to keep the bulb lighted up. Mm, I don't think this is correct because you still need the same amount of energy. Okay, 
uh, it can be supplied by one battery, two battery, or three battery, but actually um, you use the same energy to keep the bulb lighted up. Okay. So I'll put the word same here. Alright, so it doesn't matter how many batteries are there. Um, if you're just talking about the bulb, right? To keep it lighted up, you need the same amount of energy. It doesn't matter is it one bulb, two bulb, or three bulb. Okay, so this is wrong. So answer is only two. Okay, just something to add to this. Um not only that the switch is missing, this I don't know what he's talking about. Um, bulb will fuse one day. Okay, even if if you have only one battery to one bulb in a circuit, uh, the bulb will fuse one day. Um, uh, because of wear and tear, because um the filament, as you know, the filament is very thin. So after many many years, for example, uh, it will fuse. Okay, uh, because it's it's brittle and it's used many times over. Okay, so uh, over long periods of usage, the bulb, the filament of the bulb will actually fuse. Uh, but of course, this is over long periods of time. So it will not. It, it will fuse one day, but saying that you will never fuse, this part will be wrong. Okay, so besides switch that is missing, uh, never fuse, it will fuse one day. Okay, so it's just not so fast. Okay, so one is wrong, two, three is wrong, four is wrong, answer is two. Alright, question eight. Four bulbs, B1, B2, B3, B4. Uh, which switch, S1, 2, 3, or 4, when left open? Let's say I open the switch. If I open the switch, means there's a gap. In the circuit, so let's highlight this. Let's write it down. If I leave the switch open, then it will be an open circuit at least at that pathway. Okay, okay, so if I leave the switch open, it will leave an open circuit. Okay, which switch when left open will not cause all the bulbs to go off? Okay, will not switch off all the bulbs. Okay, so I'm looking at which switch if I open it will not cause all the bulbs. Do not light up. Okay, so let's go one by one. Let's say I open this switch. Okay, I open this switch. So there's a gap here. It's an open circuit here. Let's same thing. Use highlighter. Use your finger. Go and trace. Okay, so let's start from the battery. It can still go through here. Go through here. Oh, stop. It can also go through here. Go through here. Go through here. Go through here and stop. So realize that it is impossible to form a complete loop. A complete pathway for the electric current to flow through. So if S one is turned is left open, what happens that all the bulbs cannot light up because there is a gap in the circuit. The electric current cannot flow through to complete the circuit. So that's why if S one is open, every bulb will not light up. So I'm not looking at this. So let's look at the other one. Okay, let's erase this away. Okay. Okay, so the second one says that what about S4? If I leave if I leave S4 open, so S4 is open, there's a gap. So same thing, use your highlighter, electric electric current goes from here and then tang, stop. Okay, the electric currents cannot even reach the rest of the box. Okay, again it's open circuit. So if S2 is left open, the electric there will be it will be an open circuit and electric current cannot reach the box. So if I turn S4, or if I leave S switch 4 open. Every bulb will not light up. So B and A and B is wrong. Okay, so if S1, if S1 is left open, every bulb will not light up. So definitely C is wrong. So answer is D. Okay, answer is 4. Okay, but I just want to look at what about uh what what happens if I turn if I open S2 and S3? Okay, so let's check what happens if I open S2 and S3. So if I open S2, so there's an open circuit here and S3. Okay, if I open S2 and S3. Wait, uh, okay, D S1, S4. Is there, is there a problem here? Let's see. Okay, hold on. Uh. Alright, I think this I think there's something wrong with this question. Okay, because I realized that um of course we know that um if S1 is left open, electricity there'll be open the gap here is open circuit, electricity cannot flow through here. Um uh, so everything will be switched off. If I open S4, electricity cannot go through here, everything else will be switched off. Of course, if S1 is wrong, S2 is wrong, S4 is wrong. If I of course open both circuit, I'm kind of disconnecting every single uh I'm just actually disconnecting the battery away from the circuit, so it's definitely wrong. But if I open S2 and S3, okay, so there's an open circuit here, open circuit here, you realize that the bat 
the electric current also cannot flow through, meaning what? When it reaches here, it goes here, but there's, on, there's a gap here. It can go through here, then it cannot go through S3 because it's an open circuit. So we realize that in this case, even if I leave S2 and S3 uh, open, the bulbs, none of the bulbs will still light up. So there is no correct option here. All right. So um, I'm going to look at the question. Um, I want to re-correct the question uh, another time when we come back to school. We're going to look at this question again. Uh, probably we're going to change one of the options. So uh, when we come back to school, we'll look at this question again with a different set of options and then we'll answer the question. Okay, so we can erase away what you did for question 8. We will look at it when we come back to school. So I'll probably circle question 8. This is a star question waiting for me to look through it. Okay, I will make some changes to the options. Uh, we will look at it when school opens. Okay, so let's move on to question 9. Alright, okay, which is the variable that is changed among the three circuit below? One of the process skills you need to know is um, to identify the variable that has changed. Okay, so if we look at the parts of uh, the, electric, uh, the electric circuit, so we realize that there is three batteries here, there is two batteries here, but you realize that, hey, there's also one battery here. So the so actually this, and also for circuit C, we realize it's the same thing, two and one. So you realize that, hey, teacher, there are three together, then there's two together and one separate, two together, one separate. Actually, these are all the same. Okay, so do not say that, hey, teacher, the batteries, some are together, some are separated by a wire. It doesn't matter, okay? So um, whether they are separated one by one by one or they are put together like in circuit A, they are all the same. Okay, so let me just make sure I write the word same over here. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you connect the batteries together or you connect the batteries um, one after another um, using wires. Okay, it is the same. Okay, they are still connected in series. Okay, right. So a number of batteries is wrong. They all have three batteries connected together in series so number two is wrong okay now we look at bulbs okay so let's count number of bulbs okay i have two bulbs okay sorry i have three bulbs i have three bulbs i have three bulbs so all have three bulbs so i know that the number of bulbs are the same so it's not nothing changed but you realize if you look closer the arrangement has changed so what happens here is that you have um bulbs in parallel okay and also for here you have also bulbs in parallel but of course in a different way okay we still call this bulbs in parallel because we realize there are different pathways for the electric current to flow through however if you look at um, these two bulbs here these two by itself they are actually connected in series okay so, and for circuit C, you realize the bulbs are in series. Okay, there's only one pathway for electric current to flow through. Okay, so uh, for A, it's bulbs in parallel. For B, also bulbs in parallel. But for C, it is bulbs in series. So the arrangement of the bulb has changed. Okay, um, arrangement of batteries, yes, you will say that there's a wire in between, but the arrangement is still in series, which is still the same. So we never change the arrangement of batteries. So answer is 4. Right, the next two questions is about um, using electricity safely and wisely. So they are quite straightforward questions. So let's go through them quickly. Which method will help you save electricity? Okay, I think this one all we all know how to save electricity. So let's look at the statements. Use the hair dryer only at night and not in the morning. Does it matter? No, you use it in the morning, same amount of electricity. You use at night, same amount of electricity. So no, this one will not help us save electricity. Big fish instead of chicken. It doesn't matter. Okay, when you pick, you set the timer. If it's five minutes, it doesn't matter. You put chicken, uh, chicken, fish, prawns, whatever meat you want to put inside, duck, for example. As long as you set the timing, um, the same timing will require the same heat energy. Okay, it doesn't matter. If I put paper inside, it will cost less. It will use less energy, no. Okay, so whether you're baking fish or chicken, doesn't matter. So no, this is not the run. This is not the right answer. Sweeping the floor instead of using the vacuum cleaner. Correct. Okay, why sweeping the floor doesn't need electricity? Vacuum cleaner needs electricity. So if you sweep instead of vacuum, you are saving electricity. You realize sorry, vacuum cleaner also gets hot after a while. Ironing the clothes once a week instead of an hour. Um to a certain extent you might think it's true, but actually um 
let's say you can let's say every day you iron one hour but if you wait until once a week and you do it and you iron seven hours then you're actually using the same amount of electricity so um the fourth one may sound true but actually it's not true reason because if every day you need one hour to iron but you combine them together to iron only in one day but for the whole seven hours still it still doesn't matter it still doesn't make a difference okay so the only way to help us save electricity among these four is to sweep the floor because it doesn't require electricity at all so answer is three electricity can be very dangerous we know that we have to use electricity safely which of the following sentence describe how you can use it safely okay so do not overload the plugs correct okay don't overload the plugs when the electric appliances are faulty try to repair yourself do you do that no unless you are trained and unless you are like really trained for us we are not trained even i'm not trained make sure our hands are dry okay correct because you don't want to touch uh electrical appliances with wet hands so which one describes is a and c so answer is two all right so this is the answer for question 7 to 11 uh, for question 8 we will look at it again when we come back to school okay uh do remind me so that uh we can go through it in school together okay so uh you can watch this today you can watch it tomorrow it doesn't matter uh make sure you do a corrections on your topical worksheet as well okay see you tomorrow